Just what will happen if we all begin to rely on machines? someone else to talk to. About my support. How am I doing? You must do more if you want to fit in here. Earn those pledges and you will earn my approval.
go for it.
Fast. What do you want in the fort? I want to join the outlaws. You do? Well, step right in then. Just watch your step and don't annoy the Duke. That'll get him annoyed that I let you in. And I don't need that sort of trouble. It's okay. In you go. And remember, make profit. Have fun, and don't cause any shit that will blow back on me. Well, excellent. Another desert fly landing here thinking he's found something for free. You're just lucky you aren't a berserker. I hate those forest rats. They're almost as much trouble as the clerics. I don't want anything for free. I'll earn it. I hope so. Not like those other factions. They think everything's free. Berserker, Cleric, they're both trying to squeeze us out of Tavar. They want to take us out. One needs men, and the other wants our land. Who wants your men? The Clerics are short of new recruits. Didn't you know that? But they can forget getting them from here. They're not getting a single man while I'm here to stop them. I am William. I am the Duke's cousin. The Duke is in charge around here and I'm gonna make sure he stays in charge. We are outlaws. What if I want to join the outlaws? We don't take people from other factions. But yeah, we're looking for new people. Getting rid of Baxter meant getting rid of his men. So, prove yourself to me and you can swear loyalty to the Duke. You'll find it profitable. None of the other factions will give you the sort of freedom you can get here. Or the Prophet. Or the Prophet. Not the Albs, their Separatists, not the Clerics or the Berserkers. The Fort is where the real power lies. Let's assume I join you. What happens then? Then you will start as a runner, like everyone else. If you want to become an enforcer, you will have to earn that privilege. But to each who proves themselves, there comes profit. There comes trust. There comes armor and weapons. So earn your way and take the profit. Are you sure you have everything under control here? Only an idiot thinks they have complete control of anything. This is about stopping all the little crises becoming big ones. And I have one small crisis that I can use an outsider to solve. What do you mean, outsider? I need someone who isn't on the radar when it comes to the district overseers. Some of them are pissed about something. I need someone to deal with that.
Who's the Duke? You're new here, so listen closely. The Duke runs this place and all of Tavar. He freed this place from Baxter's tyranny. He is just and he is profitable. Which makes you a lucky man. If you'd turned up when Baxter was in charge, you'd be dead already. That makes the rules here pretty simple. You want the Duke on your side. And the Duke is my cousin, which means you want me on your side. Which means you want to find ways to make a profit. So you're not the boss here? Logan is my cousin. That means I am his voice. That means you do what I say. The Duke tells me, I tell you, it gets done. Got it? Got it. About these district overseers, who are they? There's Big Jim. He's in charge of the arena. Chloe, she manages the entertainment district. Then there's Mad Bob. He calls himself the Scrap Baron, and you'd better call him that. People don't call him Mad Bob to his face, ever. And there's Blake. He takes care of things that need taken care of. They've all earned their place, all proven themselves loyal. But they all have their little problems, and they all want more. What is the problem with Mad Bob? Mad Bob, yeah. That is its own chapter. He oversees the scrap deliveries to the fort. They are a big source of pro- Only now there isn't any scrap coming in, and I don't know why. The desert might be dry of water, but there's no way it's dry of scrap. Speak to him and find out what's happening. I'm afraid he isn't delivering because nobody will work for him. If you can get Mad Bob to start making deliveries again, I promise that will earn you a good reward. Tell me about Big Jim. Big Jim. Good fighter. He's kept the arena. Only now he's beaten everyone who's challenged him. He thinks he's invulnerable. I've even heard rumors he's claiming he will take over from the Duke. I always knew his ego would be his undoing. I should want him dead. Instead, I want you to fight him. He needs his ego def- You're to fight in the name of the Duke, and make sure that you teach Big Jim a lesson before I have to shut him up permanently. Tell me about Chloe. Chloe owns her cut of the takings. That's not like her to skip paying her tribute. She knows she's lucky to have the position she has. So I need an outsider to make her pay up. It's a little more diplomatic coming from someone from the outside. And I need someone who isn't scared Chloe will shut them out of the entertainment. Ask her for the shards and find out why she's not been paying. If you can't manage that, at least make sure she pays her outstanding debts. What about Blake? Say, are you even listening to me? He takes care of his own interests and does what people tell him. I only wish they were all like that. I will look into the problems you're having. That's what I wanted to hear. I run things for the Duke. Get things to move along. Well, the Duke doesn't forget people who show him loyalty. Let me know how things go. You'll have to deal with things yourself. I can't help you right now. Not now. Not now. Have you ever been...
Welcome, brave traveler. Though you have walked far and the journey has been hard, you... That'll be 200 shards admission, please. I don't want to come in. You've walked across... Keep this quiet, but the entry price is gonna go up. So, you pay me 200 shards now, and you'll avoid paying the increased charge later. I'm not paying you anything. You walked across the desert to the doors of paradise and you don't want in? Okay, no problem. I'll do you a deal. Keep this quiet, okay? Okay. You know a good deal when you... Tell me about this place. Like what? What do you want to know? What do you think I should know? Right. Uh... Do you know about Baxter? Bloody Baxter? He used to be in charge here. Before that, they were just a bunch of ruins, full of scrap. Place to piss in out of the desert sun. But with a vision, a dream, and just a touch of sadistic, overly brutal ass-kicking, so, what happened to Baxter? The Duke happened. The Duke and his family. And that sister of his? Nasty. She had the brains. So Baxter got out. Fuck no. But things aren't too bad under the Duke's leadership, I suppose. Life can be good if you don't cross him or... I've heard enough. Yeah, yeah, right. By Elix here. Elix? Oh, the doc's the best chemsmith here. You can jack it and not worry about turning into an alb. That doc, freeing him. And that alb converter is gonna help us all find freedom. You take Elix? You sound like an alb. What? No, no. I'd be happy if they all died tomorrow. Those Alps stuffed their converter with everything that contains Elix, right? So they're doing the work for us. We liberate our minds. That's gotta be what the Duke is thinking. Why else would he let them stay there? He'll wait until that Elix is ready. Then we'll use our explosives to blast their asses back to Zig. And the people that end up in the converter don't bother you? Screw them! Dumbasses.